Hey ladies, how you doing? So I want to come and share with you some hair that I got from Hair Rock. Now, you guys know I tend to stick with like my, say, straight hair or body wave hair, but I stepped out the box this time, so I want to show you something different. This hair I have is Brazilian Remy Ocean Wave. Now, I said this will give a different curl pattern. I'm, you know, I'm sure once I wash it and, you know, play around with it, this particular curl pattern will definitely probably dissolve. But, you know, when it's loose, it'll be a different type of um, a curl. So, I um, got some different lengths here. And believe it or not, I did not get a closure. So, I want to show you what I have. And the way it came, it came in a nice um, a little... Bubble wrap um, envelope here. I can't even talk. Bubble wrap envelope. And it came regular um, U.S. partial service. N nothing fancy. And it came pretty quick. It came fairly quick. You know, I didn't have to wait for the hair. That's one thing I don't like. I don't like to wait for hair. Like when you order something, you want it to come right away. So I just have my information here from the order. And this is the actual hair that I have. I have no clothes, you guys. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a you part wig now you guys know i always wear a closure even if i do leave my edges out i do have a closure and that's leaving less of my hair out for possible heat damage and things like that but the style that i have in mind for this particular hair i don't foresee me um using too much heat on my hair so i only got two lengths because the the style that i'm going for doesn't require for me to have like a stack layer, like an 18, 16, and 14. So I got two 18s and two 16s. So I got natural color. So let me just get all of them together so I can show you. I'm just going to open up one of each because they're both the same. So these are my 18s. And you know, for 18, these are kind of short, but it's the actual curl pattern that I'm interested in. I did not take them out, so I did not um, see them beforehand. So it comes with the actual tag here. It's just a nice little tag to give you the information. So it just gives you like a PL number. I guess that's something for internal use. Um, the item, and then it says style and color, and it's in natural. So besides that, it has the netting over it. I'm excited to get to this hair. Okay. It is soft. So you see that? Do you see that? That's not like body wave. That's going to give a nice wave. Now, what I want to do, I want to do wand curls. And I think since this hair is somewhat already in that position... It'll be nice. So, do you see that? So, let's look at the hair. It's soft. It's super soft from, from out the package. I'm running my fingers through. A couple of strands here and there. But like I said before, all my videos when I do hair, little shed, shredding, shedding doesn't hurt me because my natural hair sheds. So, I don't expect some hair sewn on a weft to be um perfect. It's thread. Okay, so talking about thread, let's go right to the weft. The wefts are thin. They're super thin. Let me pull it up a little bit. Let me see. I'm going to pull this off. Okay. So that came off really easy. No damaging, and that's good. That's what I look for because I treat my hair rough. I just can't. It's it's super soft, and I don't see um. I see one gray hair, but that's that's nothing. But um, normally you can see a lot of gray hairs in certain um brands. I don't see a lot here. I don't see any. Not even a lot. I don't see any. Just that one. And I like to take the hair and go like this to see if I have any flyaways. There's a few, but you can even see. You see that? It's like the actual long strand, which is a good thing. Because, you know, due to wear and uh, wear and tear, as you would say, of the hair, 
it's gonna, you know, break from the comb and the combing and the brushing and you know, all that, you know, it's, it's gonna happen. So it's good to have it when it's none there. Look at that. Let me just show you again. Look at that. No flyaways. That's perfect. So I want to open it up because I want to see these actual wet because they're so thin. And it's so easy just to come loose. And you see how I'm tugging. I'm not showing any mercy on it. So I just wanted to show you how the wefts are. They're, they're, they're decent. They're decent. I like that. They're super thin. So this will really be good because I'm going, I want to have a nice flat install. So I'm going to sew this on a cap. Look how thin it is. You probably can't even tell. But it's so thin. And you know how you can see like some beards? I do see some short pieces up in there, but it's so undetectable. Like even you probably can't even tell on camera. Even if I put it really, really close, you can't even tell, which is a good thing. And it doesn't bother me if I if you see beards. That's not a non-buying factor for me. A lot of things that people complain about, you know, is not a factor for me. Because if you know how to take care of your hair and you make a unit, you're going to care for it and you're going to care for it properly. The same way you would care for your own hair. So, you know. But I'm just... Look at this. So this is what... You see how it just bounces? I am going to wash it and condition it. And I'm going to use um, Aussie Moist. I do have some of that left over. So... I'm going to use that to wash and condition the hair and I'll let you know when I come back for the install if there's any um if there was any color or any debris coming off the hair during the wash process all that good stuff and I'll give you details and my hands doesn't my hands do not feel funny or like a residue because I have experienced that before and I did let you guys know that so this is my 18. I'm just going to put this one back in the pack and then we're going to open up the 16. Okay, so here we go. We have the 16 here. This is a nice little package again. I do like the packaging. It's in the regular sleeve like any other hair, but it's like the way they did it. They just got it real nice and tucked away. You know, when you spend your money, you want to make sure everything looks nice. I have the netting here again. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it off. It has the same information, just that it's a 16 inch. So, you know that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pull it off. You see, I'm using some force. Same soft. Running my fingers through. Okay, so now this bundle here, if you can see, there's some slight flyaways. Nothing to run home about, but they are there. Okay, you could probably see it more on this side. Just a couple, nothing major, but all in all, still good. Just like a few hairs coming off, but it's gonna be more to come off once I do my um my unit. So this is really nice. Same weft construction, nice and thin, and it's not shabby. It's very well neat, as you can tell. Again, you cannot see those beards, but you can definitely see some short hairs in there, but it's okay. So I'm just going to unravel it a little bit just to see how it um comes apart. And I'm going to be looking for it to make sure that once I wash this hair, it remains soft and it remains manageable because that's very important to me. Just being manageable, you know. That's that's my main factor. As long as I can manage the hair, I can curl the hair, the hair will last. I can I can preserve it, but at the end of the day, you still have to take care of the hair. So that is pretty much it. I just wanted to introduce you to the hair. I wanted to just show you pretty much like an unboxing, my first impression on it, because I am going to do a U-part wig, which is something I have never done. Every wig I've made always had a closure. So, ooh. And if it didn't have a closure, it, I just pretty much made it to the front and left my edges out. I've never asked the U part where I have a chunk of my hair out and my edges out. So I'm kind of nervous about that, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. And this is the cap I'm going to be using. These are the only caps. I, I use this and one more. So these 
between the other one are the only two caps that I use for my hair. So these are the ones that I use from my local beauty supply store. They run from $249, as you can see here, some $149, just depending on where you go. This is how the cap looks. I already took the cap out because I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to use this cap. And this cap just fits so snug. When I say snug, to the point where you don't need no pins, you don't need no combs, you don't need anything. You just put this on your head and it will stay positioned as you need it. As you need it. As long as you sew correctly. <laughs> so that is it. You know, I'm going to leave all the information down below. Are interested. And that is about it. I want to say hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my lawyers. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll catch you in my next video when we have this puppy installed in my head. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.